Let's start with like the digital currencies that are going up and down every day a lot. You started the hearing with some pretty harsh words for them, saying they've failed to deliver on some of the promises of a more financial, uh, a more inclusive financial system. They're volatile. They're not good for uh, spending. In your view, is, do they need to be regulated further? And is, is there something specific in mind that you have that would sort of uh, bring this area under control better? So this was our first hearing on digital currencies, and we had a chance to talk with experts, bring in a lot of senators around it. But the bottom line was that what's happening right now in cryptocurrency, yeah. like Bitcoin and Dogecoin, it's a wild west out there. And it makes it not a good uh, way to buy and sell things and not a good investment. and. An environmental disaster. So, do we need some regulation around this? You bet we do. In, in your view, whose purview should this fall under? And when you say, okay, we need more regulation, do you have something in mind or like a, a sort of conceptual framework for how regulators should uh, should approach this burgeoning space, which, as you say, kind of has a Wild West vibe? Uh, well, right now, I think what we need to do is the next round of hearings and investigations, since uh, these cryptocurrencies have gone everywhere, then that means we need to bring in the people who have different responsibilities. So when we're talking about the investor aspect, that people are buying Bitcoin for speculation, uh, you know, if you were buying stock for speculation, you'd be protected by rules against things like pump and dump, right. but not when you're buying Bitcoin for speculation. We need to talk with the SEC about that. On the other hand, when we're talking about the question about bringing it into our monetary system and uh, banks uh, either holding Bitcoin, that becomes an issue that we need to talk about with the bank regulators. So there are a lot of different pieces to this. Uh, and I think the answer that we saw today is that right now our regulators and frankly our Congress is an hour late and a dollar mm. short. And we need to catch up with where these cryptocurrencies are going. Let's talk about the idea of a, a digital U.S. dollar, the idea that someone could yeah. hold a digital dollar in an online wallet or in a, in a wallet on their phone in some way. Lots of talk about it. Still kind of unclear to me of if something like that were to be implemented, what the goal would be. What do you think about the idea of, say, a central bank digital currency? And, how do you, and what do you think the, the purpose would be if the U.S. were to at some point launch one? You know, that's one of the things that came up in this hearing multiple times today. Yeah. It's that I understand how a digital currency would work instead of the United States government printing dollar bills or minting coins. It would, for example, pay a Social Security check by just putting digital money in your wallet. But the question was, what is the problem it's trying to solve? Right. Uh, because, as we all know, most of what happens today is digital in the sense that uh, my bank does not hold those dollars physically, right? It has, a, it has a number in a ledger. And when I transfer money to pay on my credit card, they make a transfer that happens electronically. So you really have to kind of think through this. On the other hand, we had some really thoughtful experts who were saying, you know, you may want to integrate this into other systems uh, for payment, uh, for international payment. And there are questions about whether or not the United States maintains competition, say, with China that's looking deeply into digital currency. Uh, of course, the Chinese want to be able to track all the purchases of uh, all of their citizens, something we're not looking to do in the United States. But I think the answer there is it's, it's on the front edge. And here's what troubles me, is that cryptocurrency, the private version, has, has swept the earth. Digital currency is not really out of the starting gate yet. Right. And so, so you've got this situation where we kind of need to figure out, is, are we going to try to give digital currency a little boost here? Uh, but we really need to keep an eye on digital currency while we're doing that.